It starts with a simple knock on the door, but it can quickly turn into a violent robbery. Thieves posing as utility workers and delivery men breaking into homes around the country. Lisa Guerrero went out to see if homeowners are being as cautious as they should be. This guy looks like a utility worker, but he and his pal aren't there to check on the power lines. They're there to break in. This guy, disguised in a UPS uniform, is also a thief. Three of his accomplices burst in with guns drawn when the homeowner is tricked into opening the door. And this elderly woman is also fooled and robbed when she lets this guy in, posing as a plumber. They're called knock-knock crimes, criminals posing as delivery or utility workers to break into homes. To see how easy it would be, we're sending out Inside Edition safety expert Steve Cardian, equipped with a hard hat, a vest, and a clipboard, to this neighborhood in Westchester, New York. He went knocking on doors, posing as a utility worker for the Water Commission. I'm with the Water Commission. I'm with the, uh, the Water Commission. But actually, there's no such thing as the Water Commission. The agency doesn't exist. Watching in a car with me out front is Officer Jonathan Crommel with the Mount Pleasant Police Department. Hi, how are you today, ma'am? Good. I'm with the Water Commission. We're checking on the water pressure. Would you mind if I come in and check sure. your water pressure? Okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. If he was a criminal, who knows what okay. could have happened? Um, I'm actually with Inside Edition. Across the country, there's been dozens and dozens and dozens of uh, people posing as utility workers, getting into the homes and doing horrible things. We walked up to explain the situation. So you were convinced? I was. He played the part. <laughs> he had a hard hat on. Were you about to let him in your house? I was. At this house, the homeowner actually came outside to greet us. I was wondering if I could come in and check your water pressure to make sure that you're not having a problem. Okay. You don't mind? No. Okay. Once again, no problem getting inside. So in this case, this person did the wrong thing. and Not only came out of her house, but invited him right into, into uh, the house without asking for any kind of ID. So you were actually going to let him in? I was. This elderly woman also opened the door without thinking twice. Oh my goodness. We've had some uh, major water pressure problems here, and I was wondering if I could come in. So you actually thought, though, that he looked convincing? Oh, absolutely. But most people are trusting. And that's why we're doing this story. You caught me in this one. I'm glad you did. I <laughs> will be much more careful. Not everyone was as trusting. I'm with the Water Commission. We've had reports of excessive water pressure. I was wondering if I could come in and just test your pressure. Sure, sure. sure. But then he says this. Listen, show me a card and you're in. It's the first time someone thought to ask for an ID. Congratulations, you did the right thing. Hi. The woman at this home was also concerned. I'm with the Water Commission. I was wondering if I could come in and check your water pressure. Uh, not right now. Um, because I, 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 don't, I don't know who you are. I'm not just letting anybody in the house. So you did the right thing by not letting him in, but you did open your door. I did. Had he been a criminal, he could have pushed his way into your door. Yes. So that's something to consider yes. next time. Be sure before you open up the door, who, who you're dealing with, ask for identification. And if you get that feeling something's not right, make a phone call, call the police, call the company, but don't let him in your house.